Hi, I'm Miss Drummond, I'm Head of English, and I'm going to tell you about um, English language and English literature at Key Stage 4. Um, so this is the team that we have in the English department. Um, we've got a wealth of experience amongst um, the many staff members we have in the department. Uh, you'll notice that um, we have a higher level TA, Mrs Gaskell, who does um, Key Stage 4 interventions. Um, the assistant uh, curriculum team leader is Miss Corp as well. Um, so in terms of the GCSE courses we do the AQA exam boards for both English language and English literature. Um, there is not a tiered system in English so all students have the opportunity to achieve up to a grade nine. For English language, um, you will notice that underneath GCSE, English language, it says plus spoken language endorsement. This is a speaking and listening assessment, um, which is um, vital that all students complete. However, it does not contribute to the overall grade of the English language GCSE. It appears on the GCSE certificate and it will appear as either a pass, merit or distinction. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the individual um, exam papers and what their requirements are. So um, for English language, um, there are two papers. Um, each one is uh, weighted by 50%, so equal weighting. Um, English language paper one, um, is called Explorations in Creative Reading and Writing and the students are given one piece of um, literature fiction that they have to read, digest and then analyse and answer four questions on. And then in the second half of that exam they have to write themselves a descriptive or narrative piece of writing. Um, this paper is worth 80 marks and it's a one hour 45 minute exam. Um, one way, which is probably the most important way to prepare your child um, for this exam, is to get them reading. Um, there's, you know, a strong correlation between those people, those students who read a lot and those who find this exam um, achievable. So if, if, if you can get them to do anything, that I would encourage them to read. Paper two of English language is called Writer's Viewpoints and Perspectives. And this can often be viewed as the more demanding of the two papers because there is an extra uh, text that they have to read. So not, not only do they get one unseen non-fiction text, but they get another one as well, which they will have to compare with. And often the one of the extracts is kind of 19th century. Um, non-fiction as well so it could be an article from the Victorian period for example. Um, they will have to again read them, digest them and answer four questions on them uh, and then in the second half of that exam there is a writing section which is where they will themselves write an article or write a letter for example. Um, again one way to prepare for this exam is to get your child reading non-fiction so going on the guardian online and reading articles um going on you know the telegraph or the times and um, so reputable newspapers and get them to um read articles from there you can also they can also go on the bbc that's free um and just get them get them reading beyond kind of novels and what perhaps they might be comfortable with reading Finally, as mentioned before, with um, GCSE English Language, there is a spoken language component. Um, this is a pre-prepared presentation um, and speech that the students will do on a kind of uh, topical issue where they present a viewpoint about something. Um, it's centre assessed, so it will be marked by uh, myself or other English teachers. Um, it will be exam uh, it will be videoed for the exam board, and this is completed during the last half term of this academic year for year ten students. So by the end of 
um, half term six before we finish for the summer, um, the students will have completed this. Uh, just to recap, this does not contribute to the overall final grade for your GCSE English language, but it will appear on your certificate as a pass merit or distinction. Moving on to English literature then, there are two papers for English literature as well, however they are not equally weighted. So paper one is on Shakespeare and the 19th century novel. Um, these uh, this paper is 40% of the overall English Literature GCSE, it's worth 64 marks and um, it's one hour and 45 minutes. Um, both of these questions are extract based questions, so um, students will receive a short excerpt from each of the texts um, in order to kind of get their, their um, kind of brains thinking on that particular topic or theme or character that the question is based on. But there is also a requirement that students know a wealth of quotations um, from each of the texts to support their answers. So um, it's demanding in the sense that you do need to know many quotations on many characters, many themes, um, and the better or the earlier um, the revision um, and the um, tasks in terms of learning those quotations, the earlier those start, the better. Um, so I would recommend um, putting quotations on the fridge, quotations in the bedroom, um, quotations on their wardrobe, just the more exposure to quotations, short quotations that you can easily learn, the better. Moving on to paper two then, so for um, English literature, the second paper is on modern text poetry. Um, this one is 60% of the GCSE and is also a longer exam, so it's two hours and 15 minutes. And that's because there are three texts really that we have to deal with. Uh, the first one is an inspector course, which is what year 10 students are studying at the moment. The second question is um, on the power and conflict anthology. So they learn 15 poems and they will again have to remember quotations from all of those poems. And then in the exam, they're given one poem and they have to compare that from uh, with uh, another poem from their memory. And so again, it's quite a lot of learning and, and quotation retention is needed. And then the final aspect of that exam is an unseen poetry component. So it is um, an unseen poem that they will never have seen before. They'll have to read it, digest it, analyse it, and then they will get a second unseen poem, which they will have to compare with the first unseen poem. So quite a lot to fit in in that exam, but absolutely, um, you know, achievable and possible if we get our quotations and revision in as early as possible. So how can you help at home with the demands of both of these um, GCSEs? So your homework uh, your child will be required to complete two homework tasks per a week and your support uh, with getting them to do that will be invaluable. So the first task is called the 3 to one homework and that is designed to help your child revise the literature text. So revise quotations, revise vocabulary and revise key contextual information from their knowledge organisers. Um, they will be producing revision cards on a weekly basis uh, with three quotations on each. So that is part of them getting sort of to grips with the quotation revision. The second homework that they will have to complete each week will be a reading homework. And these are extracts that have been chosen to help your child prepare for the unseen nature of the English language papers. Um, they will have, have to complete a quiz on Satchel each week to evidence that the reading has been done. They've been given an anthology which has uh, the extracts in and each week they'll just have to read one extract and then do the quiz on it. Um, you can help your child by buying the materials as well for revision, such as highlighters, revision guides, and ensuring that they have got access to the IT that they need. Um, Mr. Bruff is a um, good um, website or YouTube channel to use. Um, he does a lot of analysis of texts, as well as BBC and Bite Size. Um, 
I would recommend the York Notes for the revision guides and um, for all of the texts, um, as you can see on the screen. Um, I prefer the York Notes. I think they're slightly more academic um, than the CGP ones. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, and my email address is there. Thank you.